Welcome to the Best and Worst Multimeters 2022. Oh yeah, here we go. The Worst Multimeter of 2022. Well, not the worst, but number three in the list. The Anning SZ08. And this thing is such a turd. Oh God, poorly built. Uh, it didn't do anything well. And you know, just one of these wastes of space. Oh yeah, you can store the leads. Big deal. This is Number two worst meter of 2022, the Anning M167, another so-called smart meter that's actually pretty stupid. Now, poorly put together, cheap build quality, and Anning, I don't know what happened this year, but uh, rather disappointing. And the worst multimeter of all 2022, yeah, the GBDA GD107, this is absolutely one of the biggest turds I've come across in a long, long time. Oh, total crap. Um, not one good thing to say about this meter. Okay, happy thoughts. Let's think of nice multimeters. Nice, nice, nice. Ah, uh, I said nice. All right, now for the fun stuff. The top three cheapos of 2022. Number three on the list, the Zotec ZT980. Oh yeah, I love this meter. It's on my desk now all the time. Uh, this thing just works like a million bucks. Big bold dual display. I love it. Number two on the list, the E-Tech City. MSR A1000, who would have thought this thing surprised me, took me for a loop, after sales support was incredible, and two year warranty, thing even has decent input protection, go figure for a cheapo, oh man. We've all been waiting for number one cheapo of 2022. You guessed it, the Kaiwitz HT-118E. Oh yeah, how it bested its predecessor, the 118A. I have no idea, but it did, it did. Big, bold, dual display, 20,000 counts. This thing rocks. Hey, thanks for watching the best and the worst of 2022. To the next one, keep on testing.